hey, it's the Terminian Hero here, and I should be doing my all endings video of Wario Land right now, but my battery in that cartridge died, so I can't save my game. And I would really prefer not to have to play through the game six times, so instead I went to look up a video on how to replace Game Boy uh, cartridge batteries, and I wasn't able to look anything up because my internet's out because there's a thunderstorm. So instead, I decided I'd move on to the next Operation Nostalgia game, which just so happens to be one that is quite fitting to play with a thunderstorm in the background. Scooby-Doo Classic Creep Capers. And there's not really anything interesting in the options here, so no, bo no reason to really look through them. Let's just get started. Museum's Jewels now, Ghoul's Jewels. Another ghastly grab by the Ghost Thief. Ghost Thief defies gravity. Stop, Thief! Jekyll Labs files for Chapter 11. We just made it. The mystery machine is out of gas. It looks like the trail ends here, too. Uh, this it sure is a creepy place for a mystery. And I suppose you thought the thief would be doing business out of a shopping mall. He'd certainly have more of my attention if he did. It's the Jekyll Mansion, you know, where Dr. Jekyll made the potion that turned him into the evil Mr. Hyde. All this talk is making me hungry. I want some cheese. <laughs> Come on, gang, let's see if we can get a look inside. What are you kids doing here? We were chasing a thief when our van broke down. Ah, you mean the ghost. g g, -g ghost Relax, Shaggy, there are no such things as ghosts. Do you know anything about the go- I mean thief, sir? As a matter of fact, I do. Come in. Scoob and I will wait outside of the creepy house while you guys talk things out. I was working on a potion similar to one my father worked on. The one that turned him into a monster? Yes, I took great care in trying not to repeat the mistakes he made. Unfortunately, financing the lab has been difficult recently. I've read that the government hands out research grants to labs all the, of the time. They did, and it led to our invention of the electric light. You invented the electric light? Yes, well, okay, we may have not been the first, or even the best, but we did make a light. Then, two years ago, we started working on a horseless uh, car. A car? Yes, anyway, we stopped receiving grants shortly after. The ill-fated Frankenstein experiment. Let me guess, you tried to bring a corpse to life. No. Well, yes, sort of. We tried to bring a hot dog to life. The beef Frank, and so on. The beef Frankenstein? Oh dear. That was... N that's not important. The point is, we were broke. We had to start... Reusing materials. I must have used some materials from my father's experiment. Once I had finished a test solution, I started to feel dizzy. Dizzy? Yes, the room went dark and I woke up in here, apparently. 
after a big jewelry robbery downtown. So you think you are the ghost thief? I cannot rule out the possibility. The thief looks like the ghost of my father. Daphne and I will look around upstairs. Velma, see if you can find any clues down here. Shaggy and Scooby should be quiet. It should be quite all right outside. I sure am glad we stayed out here, Scooby. Except now we can move around as the two of them. So yeah, I can already tell that one thing this game lacks compared to the show is it doesn't have laugh tracks playing every time anyone says anything. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is actually based on an actual episode of Scooby-Doo, which in itself is based on the story of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. So that's interesting. So this game is kind of like a detective-y, you know, figure out what's going on kind of game. And here we have different options. Uh, we can look at the van. It's out of gas. And we can interact with the van. It'll go a lot faster once we find some gas. So one thing that's awkward about the text in this game is the fact that Why is the clock chiming? It's 13 minutes past the hour. But yeah, one thing that's awkward about the text in this game is that it moves on its own. So you'd better read fast enough. I heard the clock I think I heard the clock go off nine times unless it started before I realized it was going so we've got the mansion and the lab do I really want to go to the lab well kinda it says go away These sirens are sure to go off if I use the wrong code. That clock is going to be going off a lot, isn't it? It's locked. Okay. And there's another siren, which he says the same thing for. There are some strange symbols on this keypad. Really now, I don't have the correct code. Oh, you don't even let me put in the code myself? Alright then. Let's head to the mansion. It's not polite to go looking in other people's windows. Yeah, but it might help us solve the mystery. These plants sure look healthy. I was about to say that symbol above the door is important. Maybe Velma would know what all of these symbols mean. That has to do with the keypad, surely. Alright, doesn't look like there's much else we can interact with out here. Other than the- Like I think we should keep an eye on things from out here. But yeah, all that's left here is the door. But Shaggy really doesn't want to go in. I guess all we can do is go back, apparently?
Oh, we can go further to the side here. Except that we really can't. This is odd. We seem to be trapped right here at the start. All because they just don't even want to enter the mansion. Like, please go in, guys. All right, that you can switch to the other characters. So after Shaggy and Scooby, the next character is Daphne, apparently. So I guess let's check out what she can do. She can talk to Fred. Hi, Fred. Hey, Daphne, did you find any clues? Well, there's this. We've got another symbol. Why is the clock chiming? It's 13 minutes past the hour. She says the same thing. So yeah, we got another symbol up there. I wonder what that ghost is up to in there. Yeah, that's interesting. And we've got another symbol here. Well, I guess it's Daphne. Let's get her trapped. Fred, let's see what the ghost was up to in here. Where did the ghost go? We got a dirty sink here, apparently. It's a very dirty sink. I don't really want to look at the toilet, but... Uh, teleport. An inter-home teleportation device. Patent pending. Hmm, what a strange shape for a teleporter. And there's a curtain, which seems like it'd be dangerous to open right now. Unless the ghost used the teleporter. The water must be turned off. What do you see, Daphne? This teleporter has a flush handle. I wonder what will happen if I... Aye, Fred, help me, I can't move! Until I figure out what you kids are up to, you will make a great uh, subject for my experiment. You won't get very far, Fred is on his way to save me right now. Chapter 1, it's a mystery! Yeah, I am not gonna be able to memorize those- Well, wait, I- Maybe I can memorize these shapes, because it looks like it won't move on from this screen until I hit A. But honestly, I think we should leave it at this for now. It makes sense to do this one chapter at a time, and the prologue here took long enough already. So, yeah, uh, I'm the Terminian Hero, and we will start Chapter 1 next time. I'll see you then.